come back to Thailand and as you know I'm not the most mechanically gifted Thai vlogger out there but we do I have noticed a few little issues with Caesar so that didn't look right and then the spacing on the plowing discs of course is a bit out as well uh, this was caused by a rather large impact uh, driving through heavy vegetation and then a famous campang pet rock smacking the back of the tractor there so um, it looks like it's a, an old repair that's given way here it's just snapped clean there so that'll need to be stuck back on there so we're going to take it to the same guy who's done a bit of a uh, patchwork on her before for us um, when he did come when he looked um, when we ran out of diesel and we had trouble getting it started again he uh, he said um, that the plowing discs wouldn't take too many knocks before uh, something could drop off so he was right um, this I have been tightening up the plate quite a few quite a few times but it just works its way loose for some reason on that it doesn't fit it's not quite quite square on there um, I think it's just the way they've drilled the plates it doesn't quite marry up so I'm gonna move that one to the left a little bit even that up and what I'd like to do I've noticed that I've got a bit more leeway here I'd like to bring this up here just to bring the uh, the plowing uh, width out a little bit the other thing that I've noticed uh, do get a little bit of vibration because this sometimes hits on here and what I've tracked down is like Inspector Clouseau in here, I know it's minging but remember I've just been in the bloody rice field guys uh, the chain here has previously snapped and been repaired so the, the, the link is now longer which means it pulls over to this side so when you pull up your, your discs uh, sometimes it swings and it, and it hits here so it does cause a fair bit of vibration um, when you're going along on the road when you're actually in the field it's you, you don't feel it at all because the, the discs are down so there you go I mean you can see she's such an old girl there's there's bits hanging off her all over the place everything's been bodged I mean you can see it's Probably not the best best thing to do, Lee. So we're not fixing everything. At our all right, Mo. Our course of action, as far as um, jobs that need doing on the tractor, is when something proper breaks, then we fix it. The rest of it is just me, fiddle, me and Toon just fiddling with bits and bobs, really. Um, if we started putting right everything that's wrong on it, you might as well go out and buy a new Kubota. So uh, that would defeat the object. So we'll just keep her, keep her on the go as much as we can. I mean, I could still go out there now, um, but uh, that would be creating um, a bit of a furrow, I imagine. So just giving, giving it a good spray. I'm going to whip that off, and then next trip to town, we can drop it off to... Uh, the magic man with his um, magic welding skills and then uh, when we come back we will be ready for nogging cam managed to get the end disc off that was fun and games this is what you're constantly up against bloody behoober he this and that it's about as straight as clock's dick that is so uh, we need a few more bolts. We've got a few spare anyway. So uh, and here it is over here. You can see a bit more clearly now where it's come away. So we'll get this cleaned up before we drop it off. And then you can see the bit there. I mean, it's, it's, I, I genuinely find it really quite enjoyable and interesting because I wouldn't say I've never had the opportunity to to work on this sort of thing before well I haven't on, on tractors but I, I've genuinely never ever shown an interest 
in doing this sort of thing. But of course now we're almost in a position where you have to, because yeah, he could. We could pay a bit extra and get the bloke to come out here, but you got to bring all his welding stuff and everything. So you've got to be able to take stuff off and and ferry it to them. Or if you're uh, a lot more mechanically minded than I am, then uh, you can buy the kit and do it yourself, which I, which I think I would honestly enjoy. But um, I'd have to uh, seriously uh, get some info. I, I, I learn better by... Um, watching someone and having a chat and then having a play and learning that way um so tunes tunes very good at teaching herself stuff and uh she's she's quite quite good at fault finding she finds lots of she finds lots of faults with me um but yeah she she likes this sort of thing as well so it's like man-sized meccano the other thing you might have noticed this third Found this gear. It's about as pretty as my bottom row of my teeth. It's uh, well cut. There are a few tractor drivers that that don't um, come and work on people's land round here because there's so many stones. A lot of farms have um, got some big boulders in there, and you can't see a lot of them until you you're right on top of them. <clears throat> so if they're just an inch or two under the surface. Um, then your discs hit those. The other two are still quite, quite fine. I think this, I think this one digs in a little bit more than the other two. So I don't know why. I'd imagine that they're supposed to all be evenly distributed on, on the depth. But I have noticed when you look out the back when you're ploughing that um, this is the most shallow. You can see the angle now, but it's because I've taken the the back bit off there. So um, I know you've got your adjusters on here, but they're pretty much seized up. So uh, even those have been bloody fixed. Same with these. I can't. I can't tighten this. Chain. I, was, I just thought, oh, I'll just tighten that chain up, and then that'll pull my discs over, and it won't hit my wheel anymore. But that's adjusted as much as it can. So it's uh, it's quite it's quite good. Very very interesting for. Me sort of like spent most of my working life on computers and then doing bloody powerpoints and silly things like that to actually get onto some to some man stuff and uh, yeah I know I don't I don't know a lot but um, it's it's fascinating it really is and uh, lots and lots of things that we can improve on. She's an old girl. But uh, a couple of people have checked over her engine. They said she's still as strong as an ox. So they all said, just watch your oil and watch your water and you'll be fine. She uses hardly any oil and never had to top up the water yet. So she's a good old girl. Yeah, they, we've been told if the engine goes bang, then just bin it. So uh, look after your engine and then you can keep up patching <laughs> keep patching up the rest of the the body work as you go along as someone has i mean it is gash in it let's be let's be brutally honest about it i mean i don't know what's going on there but uh anyway i don't know how many owners it's had we're at least its third owner yeah, you can see on here as well everything's it looks like everything has snapped at some point or other and then they've just moved on to the on to the next bit but yeah, she's still still a lovely old girl though. Look at her, hey, down and dirty. Get down and dirty. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Ta-da for now.